Welcome back to Grid Down Prepping. As promised, I decided that I would do a separate um, article and video on children gas mask systems. They're a lot different than the systems for adults because um, children grow. So like I showed you in my fitting, my, my gas mask sizes video, if you watch that, um, a regular GP5 gas mask or any of the other really the military gas mask a size 1 to a size 5 or a size small to a size extra large is not really that big of a difference because a full-grown adult is a full-grown adult and it may be more comfortable it may easy to get on be easier to get on and off but I can stretch a small gas mask around my head in a GP5 and certainly you can open up the straps on a small gas mask as long as you get the seal between your chin and your forehead um, it pretty much will fit. On children that distance between chin and forehead can be vastly different. It can be it can be a two-year-old or it can be an eight-year-old. So you, you do have to kind of plan for what you have and if you're going to plan in the future what you're going to have. Meaning that if you have an infant now, you know, you should plan to have a five-year-old or an eight-year-old. But you probably can't plan to have an adult. Which is why um, the two countries that seem to care about their civilians is Russia and Israel. They do have a comprehensive sizing system in their masks themselves. The civilian masks, they have civilian masks. The U.S. hasn't since World War I. Um, and they do have systems for infants and for toddlers and for young children. Their methodologies are greatly different. The Israeli system relies on batteries for very young children. The Russian system does not. The Russian system takes into account that a child is going to feel the weight of a filter on their head, even an eight-year-old child is going to feel the weight of, an, of a filter on their head and they provide a tube as you can see in these masks and the Israeli system does not. So splitting them up and explaining the differences between the two is probably if you're going to be out shopping um, and the prices can be somewhat shocking compared to adult gas masks if you're going to be out shopping for these things the, um, the choices are extremely different. The Russian approach is that even at a very small size, above infant size, at probably two, I would say, you can, you can put a gas mask on a kid and force them to keep it on, and their lungs are going to be strong enough to pull air through, um, through a filter. And that, that really is the, the, the primary concern when you're talking about children is, do their lungs have the, the pumping capacity to breathe through the extra resistance of a filter? The Russians have, the, the small size I've been able to get um, in this mask is a two or a three. I think that's a, that is a three. This is a four. So I did have a two at one point. The three on my two-year-old, um, two-and-a-half-year-old is a little bit big. It just doesn't quite seal on his forehead. Um, but he's fussy, and, and I haven't really forced him to put it on because I have these other Israeli systems anyway. And, you know, nothing's happening today. So chances are he'll be big enough to fit in one of these later. Um, I will show you the, the, the Israeli systems because the Israeli systems are all positive pressure. That's the, the main difference between the two is that the Israeli systems are positive pressure. The Russian systems are passive for a passive mask, the Russians, the, the Israelis don't even, this is the size of the, the smallest passive children's mask. So you're talking probably at least a 14, 15 year old, I would say, before you get to the passive systems. Um, this certainly is not going to fit an 8 year old. It might fit some 10, 11 year olds, but um, I have a, an 11 year old, it might fit, um, but I haven't tried it on him. Um, the Israelis generally come with this, the Israeli, the standard, um, I think it's called Series 80 Israeli filter. Um, and they do make a, they do make an electric, separate electric unit, it's blue, that's a positive pressure system that you can get for these masks. 
um, that runs on batteries. And I'll show you there are other systems that run on batteries. I just haven't seen any for sale. I've got some somewhere in storage um, that I, after I moved, I lost a lot of stuff in storage. It's kind of stacked up. Um, but you can, one of the, the things that the Russians recognized is that you really need a hose on any child's mask because the, 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 the filter on the front is just too floppy. You know, in the Israeli, the Israeli system, it's fine if you're planning to sit in a shelter, you know, but if you're running or you have to walk a long distance, having this big filter on the front of your nose pulling down, not only is it going to probably want to compromise this seal at the forehead, um, it just doesn't, it's just not something that a kid's going to want to do. They're going to be whining and crying. Whereas if you can just tie a filter onto their belt with a hose, it works much better. And the hoses are available actually new. I've never seen any hoses on the old PDF masks. These are called PDF masks, by the way. Um, the old PDF masks, I've never seen a, whole t a filter with a, a, a hole uh, within it. And like, like you can see, I've got 10 of them here. I've got much more of them that have sat in sheds and all kinds of stuff. But they do, I got these from China actually. They do actually make a modern um, fiber hose that will go on any 40 millimeter mask. So whether it's the Israeli or like, you know, this is the Israeli mask here, the children's mask. So you can get a hose for a 40 millimeter hose for your Israeli mask. And it'll just, you know, it'll just seal the same way that a filter would. And then you've got a way to just kind of put the filter, you know, in, under their shirt or something like that um, on the other end. Those are widely available on eBay, Russian surplus, and um, like I said, these are new from China, though right now anything from China is a little bit of a sticky sticky widget there. Um, so that's the Russian, the, the main difference between the Russian and the Israeli. Um, and it goes the same way starting with the infant chamber. I didn't want to start with the infant chamber because... It's not such a exciting product, and I'm not opening mine because I don't have any infants right now, but my wife is still of childbearing age. The Russian approach to the infant chamber is just this kind of compacted thing, and I'll try to get you some pictures of it. Um, it's just kind of a, a tote, and instead of a filter, instead of a regular filter, circle filter, it has a, the whole bottom board is a filter material, is a carbon filter. So it's at the bottom so that the child lays on top of this inside of the tent. It's like a carryable tent. And the child lays in the tent and the bottom of the, of, of the carrier is the filter. So instead of a child's lungs having to suck through that big of an opening into that big of an opening, they have, it has the ability to, to kind of come through the entire bottom of the chamber. Uh, part, perhaps it's the side of the chamber, I don't remember. I had an open one years ago, and I realized that it was completely useless because the weather, you know, just the air, the humidity, the stuff in the, in the air itself, the dust particles, are going to make it so that that chamber is less effective. These are coming out of Ukraine um, right now. They are sealed um, in, a, a, in a big four mil, at least four mil plastic bag uh, with a heat, you know, with a factory heat sink, with a fa factory heat seal on it here. So good investment, maybe $125, I think, about when you can find them. There's really not that many. Um, I don't know if you can see that the, there is a carrying system built into this. It's metal. Obviously, I'm not going to open mine to show it to you because I only have one. Um, so with the infant thing, that's where I'll start with the Israeli system. Because the Israeli system is really something else. And, and, and to be honest with you, I'm not, I'm not a big fan of it myself. I'm, I'm really not a big fan of the Israeli system. Um, and I'll show you why. This is the infant chamber for the Israeli system. It consists of this chamber that you lie the child down inside of. It has arm things. 
and it has a, a, a nursing a bottle here. So you can see, I don't know if you'd be able to see it that well because you have to kind of look through plastic to see it. Uh, I could open this up. It has a zipper system. And the zipper system, you know, you're going you're gonna to say, what? When you see this, but I'll explain to you why it all makes sense. That's the, so it's got a, a bottle, it's got a bottle nipple on it here. Um, and you kind of lie the kid down in this. This is the filter. And then it cinches around their waist. Okay. So you got the kid's head here and it cinches around their waist. And then you have a separate tube coming out similar to the Russian tubes, which is the intake output tube. Okay. Now that connects to this guy. This guy is their pumping system because you say, you know, like you said about the, like I said, at the bottom here, you're like, wait a minute, how's that gonna seal on the kid's waist? You know, cause it just kind of belts, right? The answer is that it's a positive pressure system. So it doesn't matter. That's what it is. It doesn't matter because you're going to take your filter and you're going to snap your filter into here. You have to use the Israeli filter. One of the downsides to this system is that you do have to have these Israeli filters, which is why I have 20 of them. Um, you do need that filter because that's what snaps into here. The blue thing that I was talking about that, that is, is a similar to this, it's a little longer than this. And this runs on... Um, this runs on CR123 batteries. So it, the guy who sold me mine gave me a couple sets of CR123s. If you have an EOTech, the, the EOTechs a lot of time run on CR123s. They're like a fat short, um, a fat short um, a, a, AA cell. That's what they look like. And um, this probably, yeah, they're in here. This is the, oops. That's what they look like. It, it runs on these CR123s. Um, not an inexpensive battery. Not something that you can get 20 of them at Costco. And the inside guts of it are just a very rudimentary battery holder with an on switch that is kind of an antiquated thing. It's, I mean, it's intentionally antiquated. You can see it's just all it's really doing is... Um, pushing these two contacts together. So, which is great because if you lose it, if it breaks, you could just, you could just um, alternately just um, tape them together or whatever, you know, whatever you want to do and, and they'll work. So it's not, it's not a, a, a bad system. I would not call it a bad system. I would call it an effective system and not something to, you know, that is a trifle. This is a very robust system that does take a, a not uncommon battery, but not real common in the United States battery as well. Um, obviously, the case is pretty sexy. Um, it's, it's a consumer. This is a consumer product, and it was made, apparently made for the government in Israel and issued. And I don't know if they got new ones, and that's why we're seeing these in the States. I don't know. I don't know if people moved from Israel and they just happen to pack it with them and they don't feel they need it here. I don't, I, maybe this, their kids grew up. This actually comes with a bottle, with a baby bottle too. So, you know, you don't get much sexier than that as far as products go in the prepping world. Um, not a bad thing if you have a small child or if you're expecting, not a bad thing. There, right now, I've seen a couple around the 175 um, kind of lane. I believe that's about what I paid. If you want to get something like this from Mira Safety, you're going to pay $500. So just to compare to the Mira Safety thing, and, and I believe that that's up to two years old, that system. This is the next level up. This is the harness for it. It's a similar kind of thing, except it's for two to eight. So it's a hood. It's a hood system, but also positive pressure. You just slip the hood over their head and it has the same exact methodology with a slightly different type of, slightly different type of pump. It has this green pump 
and the green pump actually has a, a, a button to protect it from being turned on uh, by mistake and this one will take them it's a much more universal filter kind of thing so if you see the systems with the green pump that's what this is it also runs on four CR 123s um, but the battery compartment is a screwdriver instead of a clippy like you just saw I'm holding the knife in my hand because I, I opened it with my knife um, so this is a screwdriver which for me because my knives always have the tip broken off of them is fine also for a small screwdriver um, <laughs> FYI um, so it's it's a similar kind of thing this one comes with a much more modern Israeli filter this one did this is from 2010 so this is the new uh, Israeli issue filter. The other system is kind of dependent on the old ones, which are fine as well. This one also comes with, with a sippy bottle. So it's for two to eight years old. And it has, it has a, a similar kind of drinking option on it. Um, so if, if you see a, a system on there, an Israeli system with the green pump, that's what you're buying. It is a... It is a something of a consumer product it has this carry strap and then the next level up from there is also similar this may even be an older version of the same thing but I don't, I'm not sure of it this has more of a mask um, hood the mask is a little smaller um, probably more maneuverable it's a much smaller package it also has the green pump so I'll, I'll show you the, this one I knew was open. So that's the safety that I was telling you about where you can, you can now turn it on and, and you don't have to worry about it being turned on by mistake because it has this safety plug so that you can't push this button. Pretty useful thing. Other than that, it's just a standard pump. It's got a belt, you know, this, this yellow thing is, is a belt thing. So the kid can just put it on their belt and it has a, a tube, regular old 40 millimeter tube, like I showed you, you can buy. This one came with a drinking straw. This one came with a drinking straw, but no bottle. Um, and it came with a strap, so even if they don't wear a belt, you have the strap for it. And it came with the all old style. This one came with the old style Israeli filter, um, 92 filter. So, 1992. So, like I said, the green one is not as finicky on filters. You could use Russian filters on this. You could pretty much use any 40 millimeter filter on this one. Um, definitely, definitely much more flexible in a smaller package as well. The other thing that the other option from the Israelis is passive. Like I showed you, I showed you the their passive mask, and if you see this size box on eBay this size box that's what this is there are people selling just the mask uh, and a filter but this when you see this size box on eBay it is just the the passive filter option this is the just the regular old passive mask and it's got some kind of I don't know some kind of thing with it I don't know what that is um, Yet another different Israeli filter. This one looks Russian made. It looks like the standard Russian filter that someone dipped in something. Uh, it doesn't seem to have an appreciable date on it. 72. Maybe that was the old filter. 1972 maybe. I don't know. This could be the old system. I don't know. But and I don't know what this I don't know what this plastic thing is for. Uh, it doesn't seem to be required for the mask, but this mask does seem to be a smaller size than this mask. I guess I hadn't opened this yet. So maybe there are, even though there doesn't seem to be an outward size designation on the Israeli masks, perhaps there is one in Hebrew here. I didn't think to try to translate the Hebrew, um, which I cannot do myself. But I, you, there are phone apps that, even the Google Translate app, oh yeah, this says 1972 on it. So this is an actual 1972 product. Probably not. It's probably, this 55 probably is 55 millimeter, you know, for their chin to head or something. So anyway, that's what you get. All right. I, I probably says age 10. 
Um, yeah, I can't tell. That's what's called a Russia Tavis, which means it's a it's an abbreviation for something. And it probably says 55, 55 millimeters here or something. So um, that's what's out there for kids. I don't think that um, I don't think that it's something you should take lightly. And the PDF masks are really not that expensive. If you have a child over two, um, this is the size five PDF mask. Um, if you have a child over two, the th size three to five probably will fit them. Uh, if you have a three-year-old, get a three. You know, get a three, four, and five. You're talking about twenty dollars a mask, maybe. And like I said, you can get six. You can get six um, Russian filters for like forty dollars shipped from Ukraine. So you just can't beat that. Um, they're like brand new, even even though some of these have sat in a shed for many years. They're just like brand new. We'll see you next time.